what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co today i am showing you how i now pack and ship my candles and wax melts i have updated a lot of things especially since rebranding i've kind of switched up some of the products that i use so i am here to kind of walk you through what i do and what i use so let's just get started so first let's talk about the boxes that I use. I use right now three different sizes. Um, I chose these sizes just based on history purchases and just kind of looking at okay about how many or how much or of what quantity do people typically buy from me whether it's just one candle one wax melt on up to you know a mixture of the two so the first box that i use and i have the sizes off here on my laptop so i wouldn't tell you all wrong but the first size that i use is the six by four by four so this is the six by four by four I use the white curated, um, corrugated mailers. I got these off of eBay and they come 50 in a pack. And this typically holds, well, it can hold one candle. So if someone just orders one candle from me, um, about time I wrap it, fill it up with packing peanuts and the other things that I use, it fits perfectly, very snug and perfect for just one candle so i use this for shipping one candle the next size that i use is the seven by five by four this is what it looks like and this is good for two candles two of my candles which are nine ounce jars by the way um and they are um just about four inches in height just fyi um so this holds two of my candles about like after i get everything wrapped and snug and put everything in there this holds two candles or if someone is order a multiple of things the way i wrap my wax melts in a pack if someone's orders maybe one to three wax melts it also holds that perfectly as well and it's after I wrap it and everything. So it can hold one of my candles and one to three wax melts on this side. The next size that I use is the, let me see, eight by eight by six. And that is this boy right here, oops. <laughs> that is this box right here. And these are for my larger order so i have a few customers that are returning customers that always buy at least five to seven sometimes even eight candles at a time so this box if packed correctly because i is you know i had to kind of work with it and just kind of figure out what's the best way to pack but this can hold if packed correctly at least six candles and this and it's after it's they're wrapped packing peanuts my crinkle paper all that good stuff this can fit six candles comfortably um and you know depending on you know if they order a wax melt you could throw a wax melt or two in there with the six and i say comfortably because um of the of everything else that i provide in my package so if someone orders you know six candles at a time i can get six candles in here comfortably so it will be four um at the bottom um and then it will be kind of two laid comfortably on top and then with my card and everything it will be nice and snug and that's after everything is wrapped as well so now i am going to demonstrate using my seven by five by four box how i wrap two candles or a candle and some wax melts so again i'm using my seven by five by four box and what i use now for my shipping supplies is and this has to do with my branding obviously so you can buy products that um, go great with your branding colors and and all that good stuff but 
my branding since rebranding is very neutral um, a lot of the browns tans golds the chocolates um, and that's what I love to I love those are like my favorite one of my favorite color palettes and so I use chocolate tissue paper I bought this off of Amazon and then I also have my logo stickers here that I made using online labels. I designed these in Canva and then uploaded them to online labels. So I use my logo stickers. And then um, I have three cards that I provide depending on what they order. So now I always provide a candle care card and a thank you card and the thank you card includes a discount code for their next order so they can get 10 percent off and then it also encourages them to tag me on social media and where they can follow me on social media plus encouraging them to leave me a review so i decided to include all this in my thank you card because i'm trying to uh, really connect with my customers even more and encourage them to you know follow me tag me engage with me on social media and then I have my empowering card. So you all know that my business is based on um, empowerment, self-care, mainly coming from a postpartum mindset, um, targeting moms, talking mo talking to moms and empowering them to, you know, love on themselves and get back to who they were. Just because you have children don't mean you don't still have it, okay? So that's kind of what my business is based on. And so when they order an empowering scent from my empowering collection, they receive an empowerment card. And with that, I have, I um, include an envelope for these cards and on the back I always write thank you for supporting me XO Paris so just to kind of add a little touch and I use kind of like a bronze sharpie that I get from Walmart <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and walk through how I now pack my orders so what I like to do first oh, wrong box <laughs> what I like to do first is line the bottom with some packing peanuts. So my packing peanuts are actually over here. Let me grab them. So I just nicely, where the box go? Nicely coat the bottom with some packing peanuts. Just enough to kind of give it a nice coat. So just like that. And then I set this off to the side. I grab my chocolate tissue paper so um, I use one sheet per product so I'm actually going to pull three sheets off because I'm also going to show you how I wrap my wax melts as well okay put this off to the side so I basically just take the tissue paper take my candle and I just kind of wrap rolling it and I'm actually going to move the camera down so you all can actually see what I'm doing. Here we go. So I take the tissue paper and I kind of start it at the corner and I just kind of neatly roll, try to keep it as even as possible. And then halfway through the roll, I kind of fold it in. And y'all, I'm so... I'm sure you all know by now from watching me, I'm super anal about neatness. So I just like to keep it as straight as possible and roll it just like that. And then I take one of my logo stickers and I put that right on there. Super cute, right? Super cute, minimal, and looks very, very nice. I do the same thing with the second handle. Start at the corner and just try to keep it as straight and neat as possible. Halfway through, kind of bring it in. Try to 
keep this as straight and neat as possible. Fold it up. And place my sticker there. And if I'm just packing, so if I'm packing just one candle, obviously I would do the same process except use a smaller box. But if someone orders two candles for this box, it neatly fits both. Both, just like that. And then what I like to do is take some of my brown, it's like a craft color crinkle paper. Um, I get mine from Staples. Um, at the time I was reordering, they were out. So I just had to grab these little bags at Walmart at the time because um, I needed to pack some orders. <laughs> but um, I just take my brown crinkle paper and I just take a nice little handful and create kind of like a nest on top. Just enough to make it pretty and stand out. All right look really pretty and then I take my cards so I leave my um, thank you card out but I include the candle care card and the empowering card in here now if they did not get an empowering scent because I have a male's a men's collection and these candles are actually for my men's collection and so if they just ordered like male scents I would just include the candle care card and that will be it but if they include, if they ordered an empowering scent, um, whether it's in a candle or a wax melt, I always include the corresponding empowerment card and I put it just like that. I don't really, I don't seal it or anything and I lay it right on top. And the thank you card goes right on top as well. And then I go ahead and close it. Make sure all the little these little things are stubborn, <laughs> but they're so pretty. And it comfortably closes just like that. Perfect. Now, after that, I tape the front, the sides. I slap a logo sticker on top. Right here and the shipping label goes right here. And something else I failed to mention that I include inside, I also include the packing slip. So I just fold it, include the packing slip along with the card, um, the envelope and the thank you card, seal it. Then I slap my logo sticker here and shipping label on the side. So that is how I would pack two candles. Now, if someone orders a candle and a wax melt, or a wax melt or or at least up to three um, let me push glue that over I'm gonna leave this just like that and show you how I wrap my wax melts so I take the brown crinkle paper I meant the brown tissue paper chocolate now whether this is one two or three this is exactly how I wrap it so I still use the same method method and I wrap it up just like that logo sticker and you see how three fit comfortably right next to it crinkle paper the card packing slip thank you card close it tape the front and the sides logo sticker shipping label same thing now if someone was to order just wax melts, like let's say they ordered one to however many wax melts. <laughs> um, now, if if they order like one to three, I use uh, like just a wax melt order. I'll use my bubble mailers. I got these from Amazon as well. I'll use my bubble mailers. Um, if they order more than three, that's when I start jumping into um, the bigger bubble mailers. Um, they're actually, I get them from USPS. 
or I use a bigger version of this. Um, and actually, let me go grab grab it to see what the dimensions are so I can tell you. So I use, the dimensions are 9.5 by 12.5. So I'll use these for multiple wax melts, like quite a bit of wax melts. And they actually have um, bubble mailers this size on Amazon. So check out Amazon. It just depends on where I'm shipping to. And so, you know, which determines what money am I saving. So when I'm in the back end of Shopify, you know, I select different packages just to kind of get the best bang for my buck um, based on how much it weighs um, and where it's going. So check out Amazon if you're looking for, you know, blanks like this, even in bigger sizes like this. Also, if you ship through USPS, take advantage of their free shipping supplies, bubble mailers and boxes. Um, when I do wholesale and I'm shipping a lot of candles, um, I typically go um, use USPS in their free big shipping boxes, um, depending on where I'm shipping it to. Um, and right in so far, those have worked out great. So I also um, like to, I get my shipping tape from um, Walmart or uh, typically I buy packs from Amazon, but Walmart also sells them in packs as well. And that is just about it. That is how I pack and ship my orders depending on multiple and what they um, have in their order. Well, there you go. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to kind of get some shipping and packing ideas. Um, again, just to kind of run through everything, I do ship through USPS. I um, typically use first class or priority mail. My shipping policy, I encourage you to ship based on your what you can promise your customers don't give a shipping time frame and you know you can't meet it <laughs> um so consider your lifestyle consider your schedule and give a realistic processing and shipping time for me i process orders um within one to three business days and by that third business day orders have gone out so customers know um between one to three business days, your order will be processed. And then within two to three business days, your order will be shipped. That is laid out on my website in the shipping policy. Again, I ship through USPS. The back end of Shopify, I have all of my packages saved. So all the dimensions that I gave you, seven by five by four, eight by six by six, or all those dimensions, I encourage you to um, enter your packages into Shopify also, if you use Shopify and also enter in the weight of your products. So what I do is the final candle, which I can take this off now. <laughs> I have weighed, I took, when I make one candle, um, I weigh it and it, um, I enter that final weight when your product is finalized. Candles and wax melts, I have entered the final weight in Shopify so that way Shopify is smart and it says based on this customer's order <laughs> and this is how much we calculated and they paid for shipping my customers currently pay for shipping so when customers place an order based on where they live and what they ordered the Shopify will smart calculate the total weight and where it's going and that's how how much the customer ends up paying for shipping and so when i go to fulfill the order i select the appropriate package um, that corresponds with how much they ordered or what they ordered and that is how i am able to get the um, pack accordingly so i encourage you to do the same thing it helps saves a lot of steps uh, when you are in the shipping process. Enter in all your weights, your final weights of your products and your package dimensions and what type of packages you use. So your system can kind of smart calculate it for you and you can get the best bang for your buck in terms of how much you're paying for a shipping label. 
So that is the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. All of my stuff, I have um, a, a candle supply list, everything that I use to run and operate my business. If you would like access to that list, please join Lady C's Digital Studio. The link is in the description box. That link will take you to Lady C's Digital Studio for you to join including other things that I have going on like the Candle Biz Boss Society where you can get access to my free Facebook group and my text club where I send weekly tips and you get exclusive discounts on when I'm having a sale on my course or future products that are being released. So until next time guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.